Welcome to BaseballGuys.com. I'm your host here on Friday and around the horn, Ray Flowers. If you're a Mets fan in 2009, it was tough. If you've been a Mets fan in 2010, it's tough. And it's got even tougher on this Friday. You want Santana, the ace pitcher of the club, the man who was signed to that huge six-year deal to lead the pitching staff. He's done for 2010, and we're not quite certain when we'll see him in 2011. After surgeries the past two years for a knee and an elbow issue, he now will have surgery on his shoulder because of a torn anterior capsule. The good news is this is not believed to be career threatening. It has nothing to do with the rotator cuff. Those are the positives. The shoulder obviously that was more difficult to repair than the elbow. Uh, the, the, the recovery time from this, and we're, and we're totally, totally throwing things out here. We don't know if this is completely accurate or not, but it's roughly six months. That puts Santana back March-ish, February, something like that. Is that going to be enough time for him to build up arm strength and get ready uh, to start the 2011 season? At this point, you have to see it's a real uncertainty whether he'll be back out on the hill early on. Who knows how long it'll take him to recover from this once he is back. We might be looking at him being basically ineffective or not even on the field for the first half of the 2011 season. Fingers crossed for Mets fans. Finger crossed for Yohan Santana and fantasy owners that he'll be back and doing what he normally does, and that's dominating hitters in the 2011 season. Cliff Lee, he's been out since August 31st with an issue with his lower back. Uh, started out tremendously this year, was absolutely spectacular with the Mariners. The start of the season with his start, the start of his season with the Rangers went very well, and then it went downhill. Well, it turned out that he was having some issues with that back. He was rested. He had a shot, an injection in the lower back. Everything is improving. At this point, he's a go to pitch on Sunday against the Yankees. Rangers really need to make sure they can get him right because if the play, if the playoffs start and the Rangers are in it, Cliff Lee's going in game one for the Rangers. Josh Johnson's got a shoulder issue, and at this point of the season, we're looking at almost mid-September. It's to the point where any issue, especially with the pitcher, might spell the end of, this, of the current campaign, and that's just the case with Johnson. Now, he's currently second in the National League with an ERA in the two threes. His whip is 1.1. He's got 186 strikeouts, more than one per inning this season for the Marlins. He's been absolutely spectacular all year long. There's really no reason to push him at this point. He'll throw on Saturday to see if he can get back out there. I wouldn't be at all surprised if they shut him down, given that he's already had arm issues in his past. Terrific year for Josh Johnson. If you're an owner of Josh Johnson, you're probably going to have to look elsewhere for the past, the, the final couple weeks of the 2010 season. Josh Hamilton. Well, that's another guy. Absolutely phenomenal all year, arguably the number one fantasy performer, arguably the American League MVP. He's got an issue with his ribcage. Now, he hasn't been on the field uh, for a while now. It's been almost six days since he's even swung a baseball bat. At this point, he's nowhere near a return to the lineup. Looks like best case scenario, we're talking a week. Uh, the really, Rangers obviously got to get him back and swing the bat to strengthen the middle of that lineup for the playoffs. Right now, it's a no-go, and we really don't have an ETA on when he'll be back in the lineup. Edinson Volquez? No one, he's going to be back in the lineup. He's been recalled from the minors, and he'll be reinserted into the starting rotation to pitch Saturday against the Pittsburgh Pirates. This means that Aaron Harang, who really has looked awful for most of the season, hasn't been effective since he's come back from an injury of his own. He's, he'll be demoted, removed from the starting rotation, and Volquez will be put back in there. Volquez is throwing hard. The issue with him has been locating his pitches. If he can do that, he can have a lot of success. He's striking out a batter and inning. Kind of, he's got that kind of stuff. He's just walking far too many. It's a good matchup with the Pirates on the weekend. If you're a risk taker, take a chance on Edison Volquez. Justin Upton has got a shoulder issue. Now the issue with Upton is supposed to be minor. It's not supposed to be anything major. We haven't seen him since August 30th. Starting to get a little bit nervous about him here. Uh, the issue is said to go back to 2006 when he strained his shoulder. You read the tea leaves there. Diamondbacks aren't going anywhere. Upton is the man, the face of that franchise. They're probably not going to push him to get back, and so we may not see him again in the 2010 season. That's a bit premature. There's still a chance he comes back, obviously. But even when he does, you have to wonder, is he anywhere near 100%? And because of that, you're likely going in a better or different direction for production the last couple weeks of the season. And then finally, in a little bit of the odd news, Pat White, quarterback of the Dolphins, never was able to find his wings in the NFL. Really, at this point, they think, look, you're not able to make, be a quarterback. You can't handle the, the drops. You can't handle the throws. If you want to stay in the league, you got to go to something like a wide receiver position. At this point, White apparently is going to shoot football and play baseball. It's not odd. He's been drafted, I believe, three different occasions. The Royals signed him to a minor league deal, so he will try his hand on the diamond. And again, looks like he'll be hanging up the cleats in the old football, at least for now. I'm Ray Flowers, BaseballGuys.com. Thanks for joining me here on the Friday. 
have a great weekend. And for those of you out there that watch football, good luck in week one.